everyone, welcome to another episode of Science, Science at Home. Home. I'm Shin and I'm Fatih. So we are your resident social distancing scientists from Techno Penang. So do you still remember this glass table when we did our very first video and the 15 science experiments on this table? Okay, some of the experiments are on this table. Okay, so today we are back at the first location here and we are going to play some games. Some games to test our knowledge on COVID-19. COVID Correct. No team is that. It's called the 5 seconds rule. Are you ready, Fatin? Yeah. Let's, let's go. go. So, Fatin, what are the rules? Here are a few questions that we will ask each other. Mm, and then you have to answer the questions in 5, five seconds. seconds. Right, we also challenge you to play the game with us to test your knowledge about COVID-19. Mm. Alright, so Fatin, I'm ready. Ask me the first question. Okay, ready, Shin? Mm. Uh, the first question is, 3 symptoms of COVID-19 in 5 seconds, go! Number 1, sore throat. Number 2, fever. Number 3, flu-like symptoms. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so besides all those typical symptoms, other symptoms might also involve, uh, for example, loss of sense of taste or loss of sense of smell, yeah. right? Okay, so uh, for your information, all these symptoms uh, might take up to 14 days 14. to develop. 14 days. That means when a person is already infected by the virus, it could not feel anything, okay? The person might not feel anything. Okay, for the first few days, they might just be like a normal person. Mm. And, but at this time, uh, they can actually be infectious already. That means they can tra uh, transmit the virus to other people. Mm. We call these people uh, asymptomatic uh, patients. Patient. Yes, mm. correct. So if you're exposed to this virus or you suspect yourself uh, were in close contact with a positive person, what you need to do is you need to do self-quarantine at home for 14 days okay, to make sure that you are not uh, getting the virus. Alright, Fatih, my question for you. Give me the three C guidelines like MOH. Uh, Go! Uh, avoid crowded spaces, uh, avoid confined space and avoid close conversation. Correct! Uh, so the first one is crowded spaces. So you have to avoid a place with a lot of people because we might get infection from any of the people inside that we don't know. And then the second one is confined space. Confined space like the leaf, uh, it is a small place so you might get infection from the one that is close to you. High chance. Uh, yeah, high chance of getting infection. Okay, mm. the next one is close, close conversation. You must uh, make sure you have one meter distance to another person that you are talking to then only it is safer for you to talk Correct! Okay The next one yep. The next question for yeah, you is it? Me, yes. Yeah So Ready Shin? Mm. Uh, three myths about COVID-19 Myths! Okay, myth number one High temperature can kill the virus uh, Drinking bleach can kill the virus And finally wearing a mask Cause you uh, reduce oxygen intake Okay lah <laughs> Okay, number one uh, High temperature Okay, uh, high temperature can uh, actually kill COVID-19 virus Can kill the SARS and COV virus COV2 However, okay, you need uh, It depends on the surface also Depends on the surface and depends on the exposure type oh. So for example, like uh, 50 to 55 degrees Celsius heat uh, Okay, how long do you think it, it will take to kill off the virus? Few seconds? No! Okay, so for 50 to 55 degrees Celsius, it will take around 20 minutes, okay? 20 ah, minutes to long. Effect, effectively kill the virus. Mm. Okay, at higher temperature, for example, like 70 degrees Celsius, it, it will also need uh, up to 3 minutes, okay? 3 minutes to kill the virus effectively. Very okay, so hot. Very, very, very hot, very hot. So please do not go under the sun when you suspect that you have the virus. <laughs> Okay, sunbathe there or like because the virus might be inside your body already. Okay, so if you are go under the sun, it will only affect your skin. Okay, it, it will not kill any virus inside you, and you might also need to stand under the sun for a very long time for yes. that to be effective. It's very hot. Number two, bleach. Okay, bleach is a chemical that is effective to kill off the virus. However, it is toxic also. That means if you drink bleach, bleach, you will also die. And uh, people usually use bleach to clean surfaces only, okay? Clean surfaces not to do anything with your body. And finally, wearing a mask, okay? Wearing a mask will not reduce oxygen intake, okay? It might cause some difficulties in breathing, but oxygen intake is still the same because the oxygen in our atmosphere is still the same, 21%. There are doctors who wear layers of face masks in the hospital, but they are okay. They do not die because they do not, they do not suffocate because it will not cause death, okay? So don't worry and don't make it an excuse to not wearing the mask. Right? Yeah, so the next question. Okay, Fatin, give me the three correct ways to measure temperature. Go! Uh, measure your forehead, mm -hmm. uh, ear, and also your tongue. Correct! Yeah, yeah so okay. why? 
because um, different parts of our body has different temperature. For example, the head, ear, and also tongue, it is at the core part of our body. So the temperature is higher and the temperature is constant. Other parts like the skin or the hands, uh, the temperature is lower and it is not constant. So it is not accurate. Uh, you have to measure at the correct parts. Here, here, yeah. here. Because the core is where all our vital organs are. For yeah. example, the brain, the mm. heart, the lungs. Mm. Okay. Yes. But what happens when you get a fever? When you get a fever, uh, our body will be increased in temperature. It is in order to kill the virus and also uh, the bacteria inside our body. So that's why the temperature is increased. Effective so to fever. yes, effective to uh, boost our immune system, lah. Yeah. Alright, so just let the body to do its work. Don't go under the sun, okay? Yeah. Now I have an infrared thermometer here. Mm. So the infrared thermometer can measure temperature of one person. So what it actually does is it will pick up infrared radiation from a person. So for example, like a like point at the fatin head. So it will actually pick up infrared radiation which is also known as heat but it will not emit any radiation ah, so the infrared radiation it will pick up and then it will send to the screen here as a number so you read this as temperature, temperature. yes mm -hmm. however it does not give out any radiation so it is perfectly safe and perfectly effective to use to measure temperature alright cancer yeah, it won't cancer. cause cancer mm -hmm. just make sure you do it at the correct place like at the forehead not your hand mm -hmm. Now, how is this effective compared to other ways of measuring temperature, for example, under your tongue? Yeah. Uh, if under your tongue or your ear, this temperature will need to touch yeah, the places, touch. so it might transmit the virus. Not hygienic. So if, yeah, mm. if you use your forehead, it will just measure around your forehead, yeah. it's not touching your forehead. To touch your forehead. So it's safer. Yes. Uh, so measure, measure temperature, correct way. Mm. Alright, so the next one, Fatih. The next one is uh, three precautions when wearing mask in five seconds go. Number one, uh, discard your mask properly, keep your mask properly, and finally, 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 cover, cover, cover your nose and mouth. Correct, yeah. cover your nose and mouth. Okay. So uh, when you are wearing a mask, make sure you cover your whole no, uh, your whole nose and also and mouth. whole mouth. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't like expose your nose lah. So like this one. Uh, okay. So wear it completely. Don't do this or don't do this. <laughs> and number two, throw it correctly. So when you uh, remove your mask from your face, okay, do it from the ear back here, okay? Just take it off, take it off like this and fold it properly and throw it inside a bin, a closed bin with yes. a lid, okay, with a cover one. Right? And finally, when you are eating, okay, when you're eating, keep your mask properly. Don't put it on the table, lid. Just keep it inside a bag, like this one, like a ziplock bag, bag, bag like okay? Or, or for example, very special bag, special bag for the face mask, or like this one, where you can uh, put it inside and fold the face mask and store it on the table. Mm. Uh, a lot of products in the market lately lah, to help you to prevent the virus from the table, go inside your mouth and then go inside your body. So very important, wear your mask properly. Alright, next. Yeah. So Fatin, uh, my next question for you is Give me the 3 W guidelines by MOH Go! Uh, wash your hand, uh, wear mask and then one each other Correct! So the first one is wash your hand mm. You have to wash your hand using soap and water and wash thoroughly mm. uh, And then you have to wash for uh, 20 seconds like that It's the same like um, you're singing happy birthday to you or twinkle twinkle little star in two times Yeah then the next one is wear your mask. So as Shin said, wear your mask properly, cover your nose and mouth. Uh, always wear your mask when you are going out of your house. Uh, the next one is one. The one is when you see someone not wearing mask or uh, not keeping their social distancing, you have to warn them. Yeah, that's our responsibility. Alright, okay, so the next one I believe is you. Okay. You? No, we are done. Oh, we are done already. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, did you finish the game like just uh, like we did just now? So I hope that you got all our answers correctly also la. Good. But now I want to ask Fatin one final question, not done yet la. Okay, so one final question for Fatin. question. Okay, if you happen to be stuck at home or under self-isolation, what you can do? Go! Uh, watch Science at Home, like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. Yes, very true. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this video and also uh, stay at home if not necessary. Don't go out and so stick with science. Okay, so we will see you again next time. Bye-bye!